Queen Elizabeth was the best traveled monarch in history. In the 1980s, she came here to California. We are very grateful for your charming hospitality and for the generous reception we have had everywhere since our arrival in California. In 1983, Queen Elizabeth II visited several California cities, including Sacramento, where she met with the legislature, and L.A. City Hall, where she met with L.A. Mayor Tom Bradley. She joined then-President Ronald Reagan for multiple stops and celebrated the Reagan's 31st wedding anniversary with this box gifted aboard her yacht. She even helped the president get some decaf coffee. Do you have any decaf in this? It's just coming through. Thank you so much. It's coming. Oh, wow. I mean, as, you know, we're, we're, we, you know we, do, we try our best. It's that like might Holly... be the best thing I've seen all week. Melissa Giller of the Reagan Presidential Foundation and Institute joins me on our political show, The Issue Is, this week. She says a joint love of horses deepened Reagan's relationship with the queen. They formed a friendship um, that really lasted the whole time they knew each other. Giller says Reagan often wrote about the queen. The president called her delightful, warm, charming, caring. He wrote these things in his personal diaries, um, in his autobiography. He talks about them. He says one of his favorite memories of his presidency was landing in a helicopter at Windsor to meet the queen. Of all the things he could choose, that's what he chose. The queen met with 13 U.S. presidents, starting with Harry Truman and ending with Joe Biden. As President Reagan once said to her, you know, our two countries share more than just a common language. You know, a lot of our values, our beliefs, um, even how we run our government was formed on their soil. And so we have this common bond, the United States and, you know, Great Britain. And I think all of the presidents of the United States see that. It was really fascinating talking with Melissa. We'll have more from her tonight on our political show, The Issue Is.